Hi, good evening, and uh, welcome to All Things Green. All Things Green is brought to you by PACE, that's the People's Alliance for Clean Energy, and you can uh, check us out at pacevirginia.org on the web. Um, first, I want to thank our normal host, Vanti, uh, and she's off today. I'm Jerry Rosenthal, and I'm really um, glad to have you turn in. We have a terrific show tonight. Uh, we are here with uh, Harvey Wasserman, who is a, an expert and an anti-nuclear uh, activist. Been involved in this movement for... Ooh, 1973. A long time, yes. <laughs> and uh, still uh, an optimist and still here. Uh, Harvey's got a lot of... Um, information to share, and today we're going to go from no nukes to Solartopia. Harvey has written a book recently, Solartopia, and we'll tell you a little bit later how to get your copy of this book. It's going to give you some great ideas about how you can change and how our society can change in moving. Um, Harvey lives in uh, central Ohio right. and um, has uh, come a long way with this movement. Well, I was living in Massachusetts in 1973 when the local utility company uh, decided they wanted to build a nuclear plant four miles from our house. And we organized and stopped that plant from being built. Along the way, we learned a lot about nuclear power, uh, more probably than I ever thought I'd know. Uh, luckily, I had done a report on it in ninth grade, so I had a leg up. But um, we certainly knew about the two uh, nuclear sites, the four reactors, and. Virginia, uh, Surrey, and North, uh, North Anna, and found much to question about their continued operation. I think they should all be shut, and uh, Virginia should be going straight to renewable energy. And that's, uh, uh, we coined the phrase, when we first started, we actually coined the phrase, no nukes. So anybody who sees a no nukes bumper sticker, that came from uh, our original uh, movement in Massachusetts. Right. Now, uh, Pace uh, has taken the uh, position uh, while we're opposed to the new nuclear plants, we're, we're thinking, wow, it's not enough just to be opposed to something. We need something positive to move forward to. And so uh, that's one of the reasons I'm so excited to have you here and talking about a vision for the future. Well, the, um, you know, we've, it's very clear to us that nuclear power is a dead end. It's a failed technology. Uh, after all these years, the nuclear industry cannot get private financing to build new reactors. They can't find a place to put their high-level nuclear waste. There's 60,000 tons of spent fuel rods sitting at reactors all over the country with much, much more yet to come. And they can't get private liability insurance. If there's a major catastrophe, God forbid, at a major nuclear power plant, uh, the, uh, after the first $11 billion, which is a drop in the bucket, basically, um, all the liability is on the taxpayer. Uh, if, uh, you know, God forbid mm -hmm. you should have an accident at, at North Anna, um, all, those, all the people downwind who would lose their homes and their, their health and their families uh, would have to ask the federal government for a handout, and, and Dominion would uh, be uh, free, clear of liability. So we think those are really bad indicators for the nuclear power industry. We also find that nuclear power is not economic in any way, shape, or form. It's uh, extremely expensive uh, and without a solution to some of the environmental problems. So for example, uh, as I think people mo most people know, the North Anna plants um, raise the level of heat in Lake, in Lake Anna there, in that area, uh, 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 in some cases over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's amazing. Uh, that they can get away with that. So, and, and that uh, actually is being contested right now. PACE is part of an organization that has brought suit uh, in uh, court in Richmond. And the judge has found with us that the continued, um, it's actually called thermal pollution, right. uh, has, uh, is in violation of the Clean Water Act. And so Dominion is having problem to deal with the existing two plants, not to mention their, right. their plans to put the third one well, out. Well, the idea of building a third reactor, it's, it's, it's patently insane. The, you know, the, the, all, we should have learned really after September 11th that um, all these reactors are completely vulnerable to terror attack. Now, on September 11th of 2001, when the 
planes flew into the World Trade Center. We were, you know, I was, of course, deeply uh, uh, saddened, and it was a terrible, tragic moment, but my second re uh, reaction was, well, thank God they didn't hit Indian Point, because these two reactors, or actually three reactors on the Hudson River, north of New York City, two of which are operating now, um, if the jets had flown into them, the, the damage would have been apocalyptic. You, you wouldn't have had 3,000 people dead, as we did at the Trade Centers. We would have had, you know, hundreds of thousands. And we wouldn't have had $2 billion worth of damage. We would have had trillions of dollars worth of damage. And the same is true of the Surrey and North, North Anna and any other reactors around the country. I mean, any sane country, as far as I'm concerned, would have shut all its nuclear plants immediately after September 11th. But uh, uh, that hasn't happened yet. And, and now, to speak of building still more nuclear plants, <coughs> you know, it's, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. And, and here we have Dominion. Uh, claiming that they need more power uh, and saying that their solution is large centralized plants again. Well, it's, first of all, um, the idea of new nuclear plants is economically uh, completely uh, unsustainable. The, uh, the cost, just in the last three years, um, I, I was involved, I've been involved with a group called nukefree.org. And that, we have a website, N-U-K-E-F-R-E-E.org. It's uh, sponsored essentially by three of our greatest musicians, members of the Rock and Roll, Roll Hall of Fame, Bonnie Raitt, Jackson Brown, and Graham Nash. And um, in, in 2007, uh, under the Bush administration, there was an attempt to put in $50 billion worth of loan guarantees to build new nuclear plants. And we thought this was a bad idea, and we, gathered, we got, got together. Uh, they did a music video, actually, with Ben Harper and Keb Moe, and then Jackson, Bonnie, and Graham. Uh, put it up, we put it on Move On, and we gathered over 120,000 signatures within 90 days. And we brought them to Washington and had an event in the Congress and actually stopped those. And then we stopped them two more times after that. But now the Obama administration wants to have more than $50 billion in loan guarantees. They've already laid out $8.33 billion in guarantees for two new reactors at, at the Volkto site in Georgia, where there are two reactors already. 